Hey guys, this is Krish here. Today I got an email asking me how do I make videos on which I post on YouTube. So I just thought I'll post a tutorial on ScreenFlow because I was asked for it. So here's here's what ScreenFlow is. This this is the application I use for making videos. It's it's very easy. It's it's a bit expensive. It is ninety nine dollars, but it's very easy and it's very customer friendly. Anyway, this is a video I just recorded. It was recorded on at 2127 and right now you can see it's 2128 so it's not so it's just a minute away and so after you install screen flow you have you have this icon on, on the menu bar now when you want to start recording you have to click on this item and you have to configure recording and then, uh, instead of stop record there will be record over here because it is stop record because right now I am recording it so once you start recording you just get a normal screen and whatever you do and whatever you say on the microphone gets recorded over there so here it is I'll just play the video for you and how it looks like right now I went to Safari I went to yahoo.com I went to google.com went to gmail.com just notice how what is happening right now because in a while I'll, I'll show you how do you change and how do you add effects so this is this is very easy this is very easy and after this if you want to just if you just want to make a simple video it hardly takes two three minutes to even understand how to do that anyways this is the complete video and this is how you stop it anyways, this is uh, the complete video so I'll, I'll delete the audio file because it will create some disturbance for me so I'll just delete it but it has the same functionality as the video video part so I'll here are your video properties scale is if you want to zoom the video if you want to zoom out or zoom in whatever you wish to if you want to rotate it on the x-axis rotate on the y-axis here it is and just rotate on the z-axis that diagonally I prefer it normal I do not like all these things I prefer to make it a bit transparent and uh, this is opacity basically if you want to add a reflection this reflection will be useful if you use scale less than this so you can see the reflection over here so bigger hundred percent I I do not like reflection as well shadow what angle you want it offset is nothing but the offset of the shadow and all these things and if you want if you want this to happen add video action next is audio properties is a normal audio property it will come with the audio audio which I just deleted it is not active right now as you can see over here this is not active you can increase the volume mute the audio whatever you want to do easily showing the mouse pointer if you don't want to show the mouse pointer as you can see right now I I'll just show you my mouse you can see the mouse pointer over just click over here and it's disappeared there's no mouse pointer over here okay, I'll just take it get it again and if this is the pointer zoom this increases the size of the mouse cut the cursor basically you can see the size of the cursor over here you can see it decreasing now yeah you can see it decreasing and increasing right okay. I prefer it at around 100 120 30 that's best I don't really click effect is when what you do is when you click on radar what it does is when it does a click it 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 makes a radar it makes a round radar type so like I'll show you again this, this is what happens when you click see see over here and after that there's a sound on click if you want to click sound every time you show keys pressed whatever keys you press will be shown and like you can see from here show modifier keys pressed you, you'll see the functionality soon see I'm pressing yahoo.com it comes over here I pressed enter I press ctrl D for a new tab I press gmail.com and I press ctrl D for another tab and it came google.com so this is the this is to show your key pressed and this is show modifier keys pressed I normally I normally keep it on modifiers key pressed but it's it's up to you it's up to you seriously after that there is this this is the best option you can have and this is the add call out button what it does is you this now this is the mo the best feature this follows your cursor and if you just want the mouse to be in a spotlight 
this is the option if you want the whole window to be in a spotlight this is the option you can see that this is right now this is a bit not in the spotlight this is a bit black it's a bit dark I, I, I keep it here and this is the opacity of the background you can see this is becoming black and white if you want to blur the background this is when you want to give pure emphasis to something then this is the I'll just I'll explain this part if you want to add an outline which is just like this I want to zoom it like whatever the content is inside the circle will be zoomed and shown like this like I'll show it to you in a while and border is if you want to increase the increase the thing which it is covering so okay here it is here it is here it is so if you want to zoom it out more like this you want to make the borders wide so you know it can cover more area and what the feather button does is it, instead of an outline it just makes a feather type border and round is something which you really don't want to experiment with it anyways after that there, there is there are a few things this is this build as in when you when when the call out starts over here at this point exactly what happens is it just if you if you can notice it it comes directly now if i do this if i if i make it uh, let's say one second normally keep it on half a second i call out duration out duration is also one second and in duration now what you'll see is when the zoom comes it will come with an effect like like this so here it is and uh, and same will happen when it goes so like this goes like this okay so you want you want to increase the call out duration in increase and decrease whatever you want to do so okay. and then all these are all your media files you can you can have lots of clips and add them together so this is for this part now one more interesting thing is how to create a marker these and okay so here is what we should we basically look at if you want to three options split the clip then mark in point and mark out point if you understand these these are much more than enough mark in point what it does is wherever you the shortcut is i and the shortcut for mark out point is o so wherever you press i it will select everything from that part to the end part of the file and if you select o it will select everything from that part to the beginning part or to the previous i part so that is like this this, this creates an area which you want to select basically so here it is for you you just cut yourself you just cut the video and you want to take it over here and put it here to keep some duration so you can do that also and i'll just put ctrl z to get the whole thing again and another thing is for to click here go to edit sorry you have to select this always go to edit and split clip it will be split into two halves wherever i mean wherever your wherever this pointer is it will get divided over there so these are the basic actions which you can do i mean one more thing is if you want something like i i split a clip edit split a clip and if i want something to be recorded only for this i select this screen itself this these are three parts now if I select this I go here if you want if you want the mouse to be let's say 400 percent and it's very weird but let's say if you want it that much you can put it on this clip but in this clip it will be small see you can see it's small now you'll see it growing up see here here it is it has grown up that is what screen flow is if you want anything else just drop in a message and I'll do that for you it's bye for right now don't forget my blog it's i'll show it because i like showing my blog to everybody don't forget my blog which is this dollars dash online dash free dot blogspot dot com do visit it have a look if you like something comment it over there if you do not like something comment it also over there thank you and have a very 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 nice day